These are spectacular space discoveries that leave us completely overwhelmed. Today, we're going to show you what incredible proportions the structures of the cosmos can really take on. Are you ready to discover colossal structures and objects that defy your imagination and make the mighty sun seem like a tiny speck of dust? From massive omnivores to distant giant worlds to an invisible giant even suspected of being a parallel universe. After our video today, your view of the night sky will change forever. The largest structure in the universe. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, or in other words, by far the largest and most massive structure the observable universe has to offer. The word observable, however, alludes to the fact that from our terrestrial point of view, it is not possible for us to survey the cosmos as a whole. Against the background that the universe is built homogeneously and isotropically, it presents itself to the observer independent of his point of view and direction of observation always the same way. A spherical space results around our Earth, which marks out our cosmic field of view. As a result of the expansion of the universe and the fact that already covered distances were extended afterwards, the distance amounts to 46.6 billion light years up to exactly that cosmic view border. But now back to the colossal superstructure. This shows an unbelievable size of 10 billion light years. For classification, the extension of the Milky Way in the galactic plane is estimated with 170 to 200,000 light years. However, the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall comes with a not quite insignificant restriction. We cannot say with absolute certainty that it really exists. Before the final proof for the existence of the Colossus was provided, the astronomers refer to the unusually high number of gamma-ray bursts, which were registered in 2013 in the direction of the constellations Hercules and Corona Borealis. Presumably, this is a giant collection of supergalaxy clusters which together form a so-called filament. However, it's certain if the monster, which is about 10 billion light-years far away from the Earth, really exists, we would be richer not only around a groundbreaking sensational discovery, but also around a cosmic mystery, which shakes our usual models to their foundations. The background? Strictly speaking, the galactic giant should not even exist. So our assumptions about the cosmological development say that the structures, which already existed 3.8 billion years after the Big Bang, could be at most 1.2 billion years large. If the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall should turn out one day as real, we would have to rethink our models of the matter distribution at that time, therefore, completely. The Largest Planet In our home system, no other planet comes close to the impressive dimensions of Jupiter. For example, the mysterious gas giant has a diameter of nearly 140,000 kilometers. In theory, our Earth would fit more than 1,300 times inside the planetary giant. The bottom line is that Jupiter's imposing size is nothing compared to the dimensions of exoplanet HD 10546b. About 360 light-years away from our terrestrial home, this distant world exceeds the mass of Jupiter by 752 times. More excitingly, the celestial body is still surrounded by a circumplanetary disk, which means it is still accreting mass. Identified in 2014 as one of the few exoplanets by direct observation, the planetary behemoth takes about 250 years to orbit its host star once. The Largest Star when we look at the representations of the stellar giant UI Scuti, we do not have to look twice. Yes, this vanishingly small dot, no bigger than a puny speck of dust, is indeed our sun. What in our home system still represents the absolute ultimate in size and mass seems frighteningly insignificant in view of the other structures of the universe. Situated at a distance of about 5,000 light-years in the constellation of the Shield, UI Scuti outshines our fixed star in all respects. 
It has a radius which exceeds that of our central star by a factor of 1700 and theoretically offers space for nearly 5 billion suns. As a variable star, which is subject to relatively short-term variations in brightness as seen from Earth, UI Scuti has a period of 740 days. It's in the late stage of its evolution and has already left the main sequence several million years ago. However, UI Scuti still has to admit defeat to another star in terms of proper mass and brightness. The titles in these two categories currently go to R136A1, a one million year old Wolf Riot star that has about 35 solar diameters and 265 solar masses. At the same time, this member of the eponymous superstar cluster R136 shines 10 million times brighter than our central star. Also in terms of temperature, our sun has to admit hopeless defeat. While the average surface temperature of our parent star is 5,500 degrees Celsius, the thermometer on the surface of R136A1 climbs to over 40,000 degrees Celsius. The Biggest Black Hole As a general rule, nothing that has passed the event horizon of a black hole can pass through it again from the inside out. No radiation, no information, and certainly no matter. Classified as cosmic omnivores that literally destroy everything and everyone, the gravity monsters can easily exceed the mass of the sun by a factor of millions or even billions. However, while we still don't understand the details of how supermassive black holes are born, one thing is beyond question. They are, in fact, they are not, in fact, the ruthless annihilation machines they are too often dubbed. To fall into the merciless grip of one of these entities, an object must come dangerously close to its event horizon. Outside this death zone, Black holes behave like ordinary bodies of mass that can be orbited on stable paths without any problems. Furthermore, it is now considered certain that supermassive black holes grace the centers of nearly all galaxies and play a fundamental role in their evolution. And yet, a look at the unimaginable dimensions of TON618 inevitably unleashes an oppressive feeling in our chest. With an estimated mass of 66 to 70 billion solar masses, the object in the constellation of hunting dogs is the most massive known representation of its kind. In detail, the Colossus slumbers in a distant quasar, or in other words, an active galactic nucleus. With a luminosity that exceeds that of the Sun by a factor of 140 trillion, this quasar is one of the most luminous objects in the observable universe. In detail, it shines so brightly that we cannot even observe the associated galaxy from our Earth. A parallel universe? If one follows the usual assumptions of cosmology, the movements of galaxy clusters should be distributed randomly in all directions. The problem? They are not. Scientists came to this inexplicable conclusion a few years ago when they evaluated the data collected by NASA's WMAP spacecraft. The experts realized that the clusters displayed an amazingly uniform pattern of motion. It seemed as if the galaxy clusters had fallen into the powerful grip of an unknown gigantic gravitational force. Ultimately, Astronomers identified 1,400 star clusters participating in this mysterious galaxy stream. In light of this galactic mystery, the leader of the NASA working group, Alexander Kashlinsky, came to a groundbreaking conclusion. Based on the belief that the numerous measurements could not be a statistical coincidence, he stated, We don't have enough information to know what it is or to narrow it down. We can only say with certainty that the world somewhere far away is quite different from what we see locally. Whether it is a different universe or a different space-time structure, we do not know. What really triggered that phenomenon, henceforth called the Dark River, is still completely unclear. Basically, no one can say anyway how the cosmos presents itself beyond our natural line of sight. While some researchers assume that the structure of the universe there resembles the areas known to us, 
Others suspect that objects and structures lurk in the hidden cosmos that go beyond our imagination. The Largest Star Cradle The Tarantula Nebula can boast two titles. It's both the largest known nebula and the most active star-forming region in our local galactic neighborhood. At 2,000 light-years across, the structure, also known as 30 Doradus, lies about 163,000 light-years from our blue home planet. The nebula complex owes its unmistakable luminosity to a structure in the center that we have already briefly mentioned today, the superstar cluster R136. Contrary to the official designation, we are not dealing with a murderous, poisonous spider, but with a stellar nursery, which impressively shows us the natural beauty of the universe with its breathtaking orbits of gas and dust. The Largest Void In view of the thousands and thousands of objects that sparkle at us from the firmament on starry nights, we should not forget one thing. Some areas of the universe are also characterized by a huge void. For example, in the constellation Eridanus, experts have detected a vast region that is puzzlingly much cooler than the surrounding areas. One possible explanation is that the so-called CMB cold spot actually embodies a supervoid, or in other words, a colossal void that extends over an area of 1.8 billion light years. The Largest Galaxy Excluding the Milky Way halo, our home galaxy is estimated to be 105,000 light years across. While our galactic home does not particularly stand out among the other spiral galaxies, IC 1101 shows us what dimensions the gravitationally bound collection of stars, planets, and the like can really reach. The extent of this structure, which is located at a distance of 1 billion light years in the constellation Virgo, is estimated to be an incredible 5.5 million light years. If IC 1101 were placed at the location of the Milky Way, it would effortlessly approach our nearest galactic neighbor, Andromeda. And now we're eager to hear your opinion. Which cosmic structure amazed you the most with its extreme dimensions? Feel free to write us your thoughts, your suggestions, and your feedback on today's video in the comments below. Also, remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date from now on. And with that, thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.